So we're back and in the second part of the video. We're going to focus on um, a little more on authentication. So in the first part, we got the app built. We showed basic authentication with the email and password working. And where we left off, we were getting a user object back that had a uh, token. And we were also seeing that we got our HTTP cookie. No, actually, we didn't see, we hadn't gotten our HTTP cookie. We just got the, uh, the token. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to explore specifically um, working with the HTTP only cookie, adding the include on all of our calls so we make sure that we get our credentials passed back and forth. And with getting the credentials passed back, and with getting the credentials passed back and forth, what that's going to allow us to do is we look into our authentication, in our operations, we've already done login. We're going to use this me call, and what this me call is will return either a logged in user or with the token or null when there's no logged in user. And that's how we're going to know when the application starts up if we should redirect to the home page um, if we have a user, and if there is no user, then we redirect back to the login page. So um, hopefully, you're finding this helpful. Please make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get to the code. So let's go. Back to our application. Let's go to our home page and let's clean some of this crap out. Okay. Uh, we don't need all this stuff. We don't need any of this stuff. This is just our home page. And on our home page, just copy some just for completeness. A title and then I think what we're doing is we're going in our content and right at the top here we're defining the page so let's go to our home page and right at the top yeah right at the top here this is our home page Home page. And on our home page, we want to display the logged in users information. But to get the log logins user logged in users information, we need to make an API call. So where is our documentation? And that's the rest. So for login, so we already did login. There's a logout, refresh. I'm not going to do refresh. Where's the me? Hold on. Me. So this returns either a logged in user with the token or a null, which is no logged in user. So what we want to do is on the home page, we're going to make this call to this REST endpoint. If we don't get a user back, then we know we're not logged in and we'll redirect to the login page. Okay. And what will happen is um, the API will use the cookie to determine um, if it can successfully log in. So let's go back to, this is a Git call, so it should be pretty straightforward. So let's go back to our code and let's go to our sign-in page and we're gonna hijack this login code. We'll copy that and then we'll go to our home page, go into our script section, and in our script section here, let's add a, a new function. And we're going to rename this get user. We if we go back to the documentation, it's the URL, slug, and then me. So URL, API, customers, me. It's a git method. Um, there's no body. And we're just going to process the response. And we'll process the response the same way we processed the response previously. 
and then we'll uh, console log the actually we're not going to count this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to re return the user all right and then what will happen is on mount we'll check for it on, on before mount Okay, and so on before mount, let's create a ref to hold our user const current and add it here, ref. And then what we will do in here is we'll say current user dot value equals await get user and let's set this to async and what we'll do here is we'll say if not current user router replace with sign in and let's add what are we missing a router router equals use router so that we have our router there so before mount we're going to check to see we're going to call our api call see if we have a user if we have a user then we have a user, otherwise we go to sign in. And then what we'll do here is inside of our home page, we'll just do this user, the current user. All right. So let's try to go to our home page. Um, our user is null. And let's see what happened. So let's, so the first problem is, this should be if there's no user dot value. First thing, the get user, the console log the user. Let's see what we got. So it's not finding user. Let's reload this. All right, so let's go back to our login. Actually, why is it not redirecting me? Um, If there's no user value, then router replaced, go to take me to sign in page. Let's do, let's switch this back to on mounted first. User no. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. This uh my bad. This get user returns a user object. And so I really want to do this. Uh, no, I don't, because it's gonna return a user object and a token. Because if you if you look at the documentation, this is the object that we're getting back. So yeah, I can let's just assign the user. Well, let's do it like that. Okay. 
So now that we've implemented this me function, it's important to note that this function works based on finding the cookie. And so let's take a look at this configuration here, uh, or the overview on authentication, and we're using HTTP only cookies, right? So for automatic browser inclusion, you need to add the credentials included on your API calls. So let's take this credentials included and go back to our code and let's add it here on our customer me. But also more importantly, let's add it here on our sign in page. Now let's go back to our sign in page and attempt to log in again. Um, so we select that, we get our username and password. Let's sign in. Oh, Aaron at mail, password is not correct. So Aaron at mail.com and our password is password. And sign in. And we got our user, but what we really wanna do is we wanna make sure we get our cookie. So let's kind of click on this and storage. Hmm. So I'm looking to find a cookie here. Let's reload this. Not now. Let's make sure I saved. Credentials include for login. And credentials include my home page. Okay. Let's try this again. And let's look at console logged in. Let's go back to our storage. And we have our cookie, our payload token. So now that we have our cookie saved, what should happen is if I kind of refresh and I just go back to my home page, I get my user because it found the user. So now if I refresh, it's got the token so it finds the user that was logged in. Um, and that's what we wanted. And then, so let's, so now we have our user. Um, we're using this HTTP only cookie to verify that we actually have a user. It's properly set in our browser. We have the cross site forgery done. Cause remember we set all of those values here inside of where's my server, not my server, but my payload configuration. So remember, you're gonna to have to add the domains. So if your um, browser or you're running on a different port or use an IP address, you need to make sure you add it here inside of your payload configuration to get it to work properly. And just and as you saw inside of your applications, you wanna make sure you always do this credential include so that you get your cookie passed along so that everything works as you expect it.